very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome with this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking first of all i wish everyone my brothers and my family uh, a happy eid mubarak and uh, wish you my friends all the best in these blessing days uh, let's go to the analysis directly uh, now i'm in the euro usd and right now the euro usd seems to make some bullish momentum let me tell you something now we can see that the euro usd has faced a lot of rejection trying to break from this previous support uh, we can see that there was here a rejection and right here and here as well with these long weeks uh, the last week analysis was expecting the euro usd to fall down however it gained strength and it went up that is of course due to the gold breaking the resistance for a long time and i will come to this part later however i don't think the euro usd will take uh, or sorry will keep this position for a long time and uh, now we are on the daily chart if we look at the weekly chart however we can see that there is here right here there is some massive resistance and the euro usd is facing a uh, hard time to breaking from this resistance or getting through it so we can see that the euro usd has went below this resistance and bounced on this support right here and what i'm thinking is going to happen that the euro usd will not be able to break from this resistance most likely it will bounce exactly on this resistance right here and continue to go more down so in other words euro usd we should not really do anything with it unless it hit this is now the four hour chart we better wait to see what will gonna happen with the euro usd if it open on monday and the, we see the market is actually going up we better wait for it to reach this resistance and then start selling euro usd and keep your position until it hit this uh, support right here uh, again we need to see what will gonna happen but again what i want to tell you is euro usd is right now stuck on this consolidation or this ranging market that's why it's a bit tricky very hard to predict where the euro usd will go early morning on monday that's why be careful and don't do anything unless you see the euro usd rising all the way up and hit this resistance on 1.12810 and then start sell the euro usd and hopefully it will continue going all the way down until it hits this previous support uh, on on 1.1159 that should be a sweet 160 pips hopefully it will be happening and we need to wait to see what will gonna happen uh, on monday uh, and wait to see any price action indicating that should be this should be a, a good level for sell uh yeah sorry i deleted the wrong one okay let's go now to the pound usd the pound usd however is very interesting right now we can see this great bearish momentum of the year of the pound usd it just keeps sinking down and down like there is no tomorrow so what's happening to the pound it's of course because of the brexit news and the new or actually the bad the news from the uh, uk government and a lot of things happening right there however let's just switch to the to the monthly chart to see something very interesting this is the pound usd on the monthly chart we can see that the pound has reached the lowest price since two years in its history since 1996 the pound has never ever reached this uh, low level this happened right here this was due to the brexit news 2016 on october and that's why we can see the market went down so bad like i think if i'm not mistaken 2000 pips maybe yeah almost 2800 pips and again gains some strength then again now going down all the way to the very bottom of the very same support right here so now the pound is very is on very critical situation now if it goes deeper than that or sorry lower than that that's gonna really bad for the pound that will be really bad we need to wait to see what will be gonna happen if if you see there is a bearish momentum on the pound then trust me the bearish breakout will be massive and we can expect the, the pound to fall even more down however i hope or i can expect that the pound will not immediately break from this support immediately 
I think there should be some bouncing happening right here about 400 pips let me just mark it at least like that before it actually let me draw it it's, it I'm expecting it to go a little bit more up 400 pips hitting this previous resistance and the previous support before if it is gonna really be bad to continue falling more down but however again the pound is unpredictable these days it's just keep going down and down it's not respecting any support or resistance level because it's moving based on the news it's really possible that the pound will continue going down immediately now the problem here if we go to the four hour chart we cannot really see anything indicating that the pound should reverse it the market closed as a full bar uh, a full bearish bar on Friday night so it's really tricky uh, we need to see what will gonna happen Monday morning maybe what we can see let me tell you the two scenarios perhaps we can see the market opening right here at this previous uh, support and then continue to go down bouncing on the support and then go all the way up until hitting this previous resistance and then it will go down hitting this previous support before it actually gains strength and continue to go more up now this is a possible scenario but we cannot decide anything until we see the news from the UK government I believe it will continue to go more down honestly speaking and what I'm telling you now is technical view but moving based on the news is really risky that's why it's really hard nearly not it's not advisable at all to give any analysis for the pound better way to see what will gonna happen with the news that's why I prefer to keep the pound safe from uh, any analysis right now we cannot I cannot give you an analysis analysis on it I cannot it's just not safe I don't want you to lose money because of my analysis so we have to wait and see in the news if it's bad if you see something bad from the UK government you can start selling the pound immediately otherwise you can wait for the price action and by the price action I, I mean like this like a pin bar indicating that the market should be good to go more up at this point and you can keep your position until the market hit this previous uh, support on 1.25039 that's why I'm telling you be careful when you trade the pound USD let's go to the AUD USD however AUD USD now let me check AUD USD seems like it's bouncing on the support finally it has reached the very bottom of the support and that is something I have been waiting for it long time to be honest and we can see the bouncing is actually happening that's why I believe the pound should be uh, sorry AUD USD should be really good for start buying this annoying message keep happening <laughs> so yeah the, the AUD USD should be good for start buying immediately to be honest and keep your position until the market hit this previous support so I should exit this team when I'm recording so what I was yeah uh, we are expecting about 140 pips of growth on the AUD USD it's not really advisable to keep your trade higher than that or longer than that because there is a possibility that the market will continue to go even more down yeah so uh, let's let's check the USD CAD USD CAD however seems like it has bounced from this resistance we can see this this resistance right here and after this bearish breakout candle this resistance has kept its position as a resistance and the market reverse and go down not only that but we can see let me zoom in we can see that we had here these three weeks as a resistance and again the market reversed on this resistance keeping the position that is very good and that means that the market will continue to go more down uh, I don't believe it will continue going down for a long time uh, it seems like it's gonna go all the way for this support only like that to this support before it actually start going more up that's why I think it is a good idea to start selling the AUSD CAD immediately only for like uh, 60 pips let's be safe almost for 60 pips and then get out of your trade uh, until you see what will gonna happen but most likely it will be safe to start buying USD CAD on the level 1.3144 
but you can start selling it immediately Monday and hopefully the market will respect this level and will reverse to go down. Let's go to the USD GPY. USD GPY seems like it should be going more down, same like to the US, uh, AUD USD. I believe it will keep going all the way down until it hit this uh, previous support. And if we go to the weekly chart, however, we can see this is happening. Yes, the USD, USD GPY seems like it's going down and I don't think it will stop until it hit this previous support. Then we need to see what will gonna happen. Uh, we are talking about almost 80 pips. So let me tell you when will be the best time to start selling the USD GPY actually should be start should be good for selling immediately. Why? Because of this very strong bearish momentum and we can see that we had here the support level has been retested already by this candle and most likely the new candle will go a little bit more up to retest this level again and continue to go more down. There is another scenario that this uh, previous support will be breaking out and the market will continue to go more up until it hit this uh, previous resistance and that is personally what I think would, what, what will gonna happen is the market will continue to go more up hitting this previous resistance and then it will cont uh, continue to fall more down. So in other words we need to wait to see what will gonna happen to the USD GPY. It should be really good to start selling at the level 106.197 uh, you can keep your position all the way long until uh, 104.722. That should be about 145 pips of profit. Hopefully the market will respect this level and be loyal to us. Now let's check the USD CHF. USD CHF on the daily chart uh, is right now on the support level. And it's, it seems like the, the USDCHF is bouncing on this uh, support level. I don't think it will break from it right now. Uh, it might actually break a little bit to this support right here. Let me just take a look again. I believe until... Uh, I just need to do something here. Yeah, I believe right it on 61.4. 61.8 and just to be sure just to be sure I believe yes exactly I believe the USD CHF should be continue to fall more down until it hit this previous support on 0 0.95769 and then it should continue to rise more up until it hit this previous resistance, then we need to see what will gonna happen. So USD CHF should be good for sell. Um, let me tell you something. Now the USD CHF is bouncing on the support level. So selling it immediately is not gonna be a good idea, I think. And again, we need to see what will gonna happen Monday morning before we decide that. But in theory or in general, uh, USD CHF should be good to start selling if it drives all the way up to this previous resistance. If it's if you see the USD CHF rising uh, 60 pips to hit the resistance on 0 0.97868, you can start selling the USD CHF and hopefully the market will be loyal and it will go all the way down almost 200 pips. But I think USD CHF in general, general must be hitting this previous support right here. It has to hit it, I think, yes before it start uh, rising more up. So again, USD CHF should be good for sell for short time and only until it hit this previous support. Now let's check the gold. What happened to the gold? The gold has broken this very long term resistance. That is unexpected to be honest, uh, against my expectations for the last week. And let's see something very interesting. Let's check the monthly chart. Now the, the, the gold has broken this long-term resistance even right here in 2009 and this resistance in 2012 and it's just continued to go all the way up and I believe uh, the, the, the gold will continue rising. I believe it will continue rising until it hit this previous resistance. However, this is very risky trade because we are talking about <laughs> 
thousand pips and that is way too much please don't ever think about that let's check the daily chart to be more safe uh, that is of course on very long term but however on the daily chart it's different story let's mark uh, this resistance level first so the the gold is right here let's go to the left and see what's happening so we can see that let me just check something else so we had here this bearish breakout candle go more to the left what do we see we can see that here we had this resistance and here we had this resistance as well so perhaps most likely the gold should be bouncing back um let me just be careful yeah let's just correct it yep okay let me just go to the left more to be sure and this is daily chart the gold has never reached this high uh, since long time anyway let's go back to the current time it already reached this level so gold will be really risky my friends to trade right now most likely it's going down a little bit but I believe it will gain more strength I believe this is because of the bad news about the uh, uh, financial war between America or US and China it helped to gain the uh, power to the gold that's why it's gonna really be risky to trade the gold right now however we can see the gold has approached this previous uh, resistance right here and it might actually bounce all the way down until it hit this previous support here and this resistance right here it will retest this level after the breakout and most likely it will continue to go more up so in other words gold might be good for sale but for very short term only until this level on 1477 and we are talking about almost 200 pips 184 pips uh, gold might be good for sale but not for a long time again only for this term uh, for this price so you can start selling gold immediately but again it will be risky because there is no fundamental that we can use um, the, the 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 resistance right here has already been retested by this candle here let me just zoom in more to show you so wh what we can see here at the resistance level is here we have a resistance attempt number one and right here a resistance attempt number two now this previous resistance after this bearish breakout candle has already been retested here and the market or the candle closed as a pin bar that's why I believe that the gold should be start reversing and continue to go all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here to retest the level so yeah gold if you want to be really safe wait for it to rise again until here wait for the gold to rise again until 1504 then you can start selling and hopefully it will be safe and don't keep your position for so long let me change it make it until the support only so don't keep trading gold for a long time uh, it's better if you just let me just delete this one if you just place your sell right here on the 1504 and get out of your trade at 1492 that should be safe to trade the gold almost 117 pips of profit and that's enough don't keep trading gold for a long time most likely it's going down yes but we have to be careful uh, I have really bad uh, experience trading gold and sometimes it's uh, wiping the account so be careful my friends and yeah I believe that was everything hopefully this will be a very profitable and good week for everyone I wish you please uh, my friends uh, safe trades and happy uh, aid again so I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching